Hey everybody, it's the budgeting flight attendant. Welcome to my first video of 2024. I know it's late in the month. I have been sick, I've been so sick. And I know I say that like every month, but you guys, when your job for a living is to be packed in a tin can with 200 people every day, you're bound to catch whatever's on there. So if you guys have any remedies, for your immune system, please put it in the comment section down below. Today, I am only going to be stuffing some savings challenges. During my break, I did still get paid, so I still budgeted, but it was off camera because my voice was missing. And also, I'm kind of going through some changes with this channel, which I'm really excited to share. Today, I am stuffing just some money that I earned from Uber Eats recently. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and count that. So I deliver for Uber Eats on the side for anybody that's new. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. So today I'm stuffing $253 into some savings challenges. You are going to see some new challenges in this video and also in future videos because I actually kind of was a savings challenge hater for a little bit. I've been, you know, doing this cash stuffing on YouTube for two and a half years-ish. I don't remember, but I've been doing it for a while and savings challenges were never really a thing before. And... I was kind of like, what's the point? Like we're already budgeting and stuffing our categories for what we need for the future. Like I don't, but I don't know. Lately I have been loving watching savings challenge videos and I have been doing one savings challenge. I've been doing one savings challenge in my videos lately that um, I am gonna be stuffing today, but that's basically the only savings challenge I was really ever doing other than like a small, zodiac challenge i think one time but i never was a huge fan but now i've got a few so we're gonna be stuffing those today so this is the one that i have been doing for my videos and for anybody that is new i have been as i've been stuffing this and putting the denominations in the bank and bill swapping and stuff like that it was going into an account that i was using for flight school and I had to put flight school on pause, so this is no longer going to that. And I put flight school on pause because I am pregnant. About $3,000 was used out of that, so I am only saving now about 7,000 of this. So by the end of this challenge, there should be $7,000 there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. And today, I think I'm gonna be stuffing the 191 right there. I know it's hard to see. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this over that. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, and one is going into the 10K challenge. Okay, and I normally don't count this until the sinking funds update, but I think I'm just gonna start counting it now. So I have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 10, 20, 21, 22. So 422 dollars in the savings challenge, the 10K savings challenge. And then I'm gonna leave these stickers out because the next challenge I'm gonna do is 
I have a $5 savings challenge in my emergency fund. And I'm just gonna put $5 in here today. I like doing orange and red tones to match the challenge. So, put that on. And I'm gonna put a five in emergency fund. And I'm not gonna count this just because it's not solely being funded by the emergency fund. I'm also stuffing this in my normal cash envelope stuffing videos. So there's that. That's the only one that's in this binder. Next is a new savings challenge. So I actually placed an order recently with another YouTuber. Her YouTube and her Etsy is Budgeting by Dina US. And um, I actually have ordered a few holiday savings challenges lately, but they've been going over to my fiance's house, which I haven't been there recently. So I haven't collected those, but this I mailed to where I'm renting. So that's why this is here right now. I thought this was a really cute Easter savings challenge. I'm not gonna be stuffing this one today cause I do have another um, Valentine's Day savings challenge. And did I order a St. Patrick's Day one? I'm actually not sure about that, but I'm gonna do the Valentine's Day one first. But she also, as a freebie, sent me this little Christmas one, which I was planning on doing some Christmas ones throughout the year. So this is actually really handy to have this. So I really appreciate her for putting in this little freebie. She put a couple of other things in there too. I probably should have done a happy mail video. I am actually gonna stuff this one and oof, let me go get my markers one second. So I went ahead and grabbed red. Next time I'll do green, but I'm gonna color in this five. And I'm gonna stuff a five in here. My goal for Christmas this year, I think I'm gonna try to do like around a thousand maybe. And then next, I actually DIY'd a 100 envelope. I know this is huge. <laughs> I DIY'd my own 100 envelope savings challenge because I love the 100 envelope savings challenge. I love watching people do it, but every time I look them up, they're so expensive and for good reason. I mean, I've done some projects where I've realized, you know, wow, this is actually pretty tedious in regards to like budgeting and stuff like that. So I don't blame them, their prices are fair, but I did, I am trying to save money. So I did create my own um, 100 envelope savings challenge myself. I basically just got a binder and then I ordered some, I think I looked up like Pokemon card sheets or something like that on Amazon and it came in a 15 pack. So I wanted to use all the pages. So this actually is more than a hundred because it adds up to, I don't know, something more than that. But I started, I used these like number stickers and I started running out of the ones. So at one point I started skipping up to like 200, I think. Yeah, 121, 122, 200, 202. So any, any numbers that didn't require a one, that is what, I started doing so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple of these so I think I'll do wait a minute I have more fives did I have other plans I don't think I did okay anyway so I'll do a 10 a 5 I'll just start with 10 and 5 so 15 which is on this page So, oh gosh, this is gonna be hard with nails. So I'll just slide that right in there and it fits perfectly when you fold it in half. So that's good. And then I'll do another 10, a five and a one for 16.
And then that'll be it. And then the final challenge that I'm gonna be stuffing today is my letterbox challenge for the ones. So with these fives, I'm actually gonna add them to the emergency fund challenge. So I'll just do two more fives. That'll bring us, what, three fifths of the way finished with this one. So there's two more. <clears throat> oh, there's still a five here. So I noticed there's still a five here after doing that. So I'm actually gonna also add this one to the Christmas savings challenge. I was gonna do alternating red and green, so I'm just gonna color in this one. So now there is $10 in that savings challenge. And then finally, for our letter bucks challenge. So let me go ahead and alphabetize these. So the first one is B, which is for baby step. So I don't have A today, I do have a B. So I'll put this in here. And then I will color in a B. I don't know where my little pen thing is, so it's gonna be messy. And then we have a C. C is for car maintenance. Oh, speaking of car maintenance too, um, I was able to pay off that loan, the one that was gonna accrue like 150% interest or whatever by a certain date. I was able to pay it off before that date. So that is completed. And I'm very happy about that. Very relieved, to be honest with you. Okay, there's no D, no E, no F, but there is a G. G is for our girl. That's my baby girl that I'm currently pregnant with. <laughs> so we'll add that G. And last is L, which is the very last one, I think. And I have three L's. So this is by far the one that's the most. L is for labor and delivery. So it's a good thing that this one is getting some love because I'm gonna need that. All right, and then finally, there is a savings challenge that is not here because it's going to go into my savings jar back home in North Carolina, which by the way, I am moving back there at the end of this month. So that is why, you know, I haven't gotten everything together here because I'm just gonna wait till I go there. But there, I do have an acrylic piggy bank that is unopenable that I am planning on using this year for 2024. And I wanna use it for a challenge. So my challenge, and I'm kind of inspired by another idea that another YouTuber had like a long time ago, a budgeter that I saw. Um, I forget who it is though, I'm blanking, but this is like a couple years ago. They put in a dollar to their challenge for every like on their last video they got. So I'm gonna one up it though. For every like that I get on this video, I'm gonna put in $1 to that jar. And then for every comment I get, excluding replies or my comments, I am going to put $2 in. So go ahead and leave a like on the video and leave a comment down below so that 
I can go ahead and fill up that jar for this year, 2024. We are saving money. I just wanna thank you so much for watching and having patience with me during my little break. I am so excited to share all the new changes that I have plans for this year with you. And I will see you in the next video, which will be a cash envelope stuffing of my flight attendant paycheck. Thank you for watching, bye.